Every now and then, an innovation comes along in the world of assistive technology that completely changes the game. Think of things like Braille or text-to-speech and speech-to-text. Well, we are currently at the beginning of another one of those innovations. I'm talking, of course, about the adoption of AI in assistive technology. Now, despite <laughs> what you might think about AI and your fears of this is the beginning of the robot uprising and machines overthrowing humanity and all of that. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, we'll see. But there is no denying that AI has the potential to once again, change the game in assistive technology. Today we're gonna to be talking about Be My AI. This is the latest feature in the very popular Be My Eyes app. And despite the fact that in my own opinion, Be My AI is a terrible name. <laughs> it's actually quite impressive. Hey guys, my name is Sam. This is The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So Be My Eyes has been around for quite a while, and it's one of the most popular apps in the blind and visually impaired community. It's available for both iOS and Android. It is a free app. You do have to create an account. The app is designed to primarily connect you with a live volunteer somewhere to assist you with whatever you need. The app connects your device with the volunteer's device, the volunteer sees through your camera, and you can talk to them through the microphone and get help with whatever. Recently, Be My Eyes is one of the first companies to adopt AI, and they have done this by adding in the tool Be My AI. Once again, I don't love the name. <laughs> it just doesn't roll off the tongue very well, Be My AI. I don't know. All right, that's the last I'll say about that. Regardless of how I feel about the name, it's extremely impressive and extremely helpful. Whether you're using this on Android or iOS, the layout of the app is relatively the same. When you first launch it here, you have your main page where you can contact a volunteer. Now, it's not just calling a volunteer, but Be My Eyes also has a ton of other helpful ways to connect with people. Oh, and I can call Sony. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, Sony. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, no, just wanted to let you know I love what you're doing. All right. But down at the bottom, you have a couple of tabs, and the very second one to the right is the Be My AI. When you launch it, it just opens up your camera, and then there's a very large blue button at the bottom that says take a picture. It really couldn't be any easier. All right, let me take a picture of my coffee mug here. Processing. and then it displays its results here on the screen. If you're able to see this, awesome. I cannot, so let's turn on voiceover. The picture shows a white mug with the words Big Daddy printed on it in bold, black <laughs> letters. The mug is placed on a wooden desk surface, and there is a computer monitor in the background displaying a blue screen with the time 10.24 a.m. and the date 1 slash 12 slash 2024 visible in the bottom right corner. To the right of the mug, there is a microphone with a black pop filter attached to an adjustable arm stand. Yeah, that's spot on. It got everything texture and material of the desk. It's got my computer right behind it, my monitor. That is my one of my microphones right here next to it. Pretty good. So we have the option down at the bottom to take the picture again or take another picture. Ask more button. We can ask more. And this is where the power of AI really comes into play is because you can interact with it. We'll do that more here in a second. All right, I've got something fun here I thought I would try. On my computer screen here, I have a picture of a cat dressed up like Batman. <laughs> so I wanna see how well Be My AI will describe this. Take picture, dimmed. Analyzing picture, please wait. I like the little music that plays. The picture shows a cat wearing a Batman mask and cape. The mask covers the top half of the cat's face with cutouts for the eyes and the cape drapes over its back. The cat is looking directly at the camera, and the background is blurred with indistinct shapes and colors. The picture is displayed on a computer monitor, and in front of the monitor, there is a keyboard to the left and a computer mouse to the right. Wow. Ask more, button, message, text field, message, text All right. field. We're gonna it ask a follow-up question, and it simply opens up like a chat dialogue or a text messaging interface here. We're gonna be texting back and forth with Be My AI. Who is this character supposed to be? Inserted who is this character supposed to be? Clear text. Send message. But send. Please wait. 
Be my AI is writing a message. All right, we'll see what they say. Be my AI, the character is supposed to be Batman, depicted in a humorous way by dressing a cat with the iconic mask and cape associated with a superhero. There you go. One nice thing is while you're chatting with Be My AI, there's always the option to contact a volunteer, a human volunteer, just to make sure. And this is a great time to point out that this is a computer. All right, you are talking to a computer. So if you have any concerns about health or safety, definitely reach out to an actual human being. <laughs> Don't just go by what the computer is telling you. Okay, so here is a drawing I was doing, just messing around, um, kind of a warrior guy. I wanna see how well Be My AI will describe this to me. So lining up the shot, taking the picture. Take picture, button. Take picture, dimmed. All right, let's see what it says. The picture shows a drawing of a warrior in armor on a whiteboard. The warrior is depicted in a standing pose, facing slightly to the left with a confident stance. The armor is detailed with horns on the helmet, shoulder pads, chest plate, gauntlets, thigh guards, and boots. The warrior is holding a weapon that appears to be an axe in the right hand, which is down by the side. The drawing is done in black marker with bold lines and shading, giving it a sketch-like appearance. The background is the whiteboard itself, which has some faint marks and smudges, and there's a whiteboard eraser at the bottom of the image. So yeah, I got it pretty spot on except the eraser at the bottom is just shadowing. What area of the world does it look like this character is from? But send, please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Be my AI, the character's armored design with horns on the helmet is reminiscent of what is often popularly associated with Viking or Norse warriors. However, it's important to note that such depictions are not historically accurate and are more a creation of modern media and fantasy genres. If you need more precise cultural or historical context, it might be best to consult with a historian or press the call a volunteer button for guidance. Okay, that's about right. You know, it's because mainly because the character has horns is why they went with that. But because I, I added in some elements of techno fantasy into it as well. What type of weapon is he holding? So he's holding a battle axe. My AI, the warrior is holding an axe. The axe has a curved blade and a pointed spike on the opposite side of the blade, which is a typical design for a battle axe. There you go. Battle axe. Got it. All right. Next, I've got a poem here on my screen. One of my favorite poets. One of the great poets of all time, Shel Silverstein. And we're gonna scan this and see what happens. Take picture, button. Take picture, dimmed. Analyzing picture, please wait. The picture shows a computer monitor displaying a poem titled Snowball. The poem reads, I made myself a snowball, as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away. But first, it wet the bed. Below the poem, there is a keyboard and a mouse on a desk. The monitor is on a dark blue desktop background with some icons at the top and a taskbar at the bottom with various application icons. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> Snowball, one of the, one of my favorite poems from Shel Silverstein. Let's see if Be My AI can summarize this for us. Ask more button message. Summarize this. But set, please wait. Be My AI is writing a message. Be My AI. The poem Snowball is about a person who makes a snowball and treats it like a pet, giving it pajamas and a pillow. However, the snowball melts during the night humorously described as running away and wetting the bed. Wow, okay. So this is a perfect illustration of how powerful AI can be. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I believe Be My Eyes is using ChatGPT, which a lot of other AI adopters out there are using, and it's super powerful. But this is kind of getting into the area of that kind of gives people fears and causes people to be a little leery about AI is its understanding and its ability to interpret concepts that you generally only associate humans being able to interpret. Now, in this case, the poem never says that the snowball melted. It says that it ran away, but before it did, it wet the bed. So the AI understood that to mean what the author intended it to mean. And that's kind of crazy. Kind of awesome, kind of crazy. All right, guys, so that was a look at Be My AI, one of the newest features of the Be My Eyes app. The potential for AI in the assistive technology world and how it can help the BVI community is incredible and very much, like I said at the beginning, game changing. And one thing to note about this is as cool as this is right now, this is the worst it will ever be. It's only gonna continue to get better and better and better till the robots take over the world. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. 
check it out. Download Be My Eyes if you haven't already and play around with the Be My AI tool. Stay tuned. I did a video featuring the latest updates to the Envision glasses, which also has ChatGPT integration with their Ask Envision feature. Which one is better? Huh? Maybe we need to do a head-to-head -head competition. Stay tuned. That might be coming out in the future. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on all the other social medias, including the podcast, the Blind Life podcast, available on all your major podcast platforms. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like the video, like it anyway. And I'll see you next time.